Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. We're, we're gonna just, you know, take out, take out this guy. We're gonna do it. What does the, what is the, where's my ammo? So the precision arrows, you deal high impact damage and medium tear on impact. Highly damaging arrow, useful for precision, landing precision and accurate shot. No damage, but very high tear. Which didn't work last time we used it on the other destroyer, so we won't use those. Fire, the low impact damage and low tear. That's the hard point, is medium impact damage and high tear on impact. Used for, for fighting chunkier enemies, as it more easily removes parts from machines to deal additional damage. So we can use, so the hard point and the precision arrows are going to be the most useful. And... A swarm launcher sounds really unpleasant. It only has one. Weakness is... Big Fetzo, Deathbringer, Weakness is Fire and Chalk, the Repeater Cannon, the Cooling Rods, and a Swarm Launcher. All weaknesses. Destroying this component disables the Swarm Launcher attack. Hitting this component is greater damage to the machine and can cause it to fall over. Where's the Heavy Cannon? Doesn't say. Uh, the gun turret. It can be picked up and detached. Okay, and used after it's been detached. Heat vent will cause the high damage and will cause it to overheat. Flamethrower, man. Okay. I think it can be removed. Gonna have to come up with a different strategy. Another Kolish, and this one can move. I mean, I don't know. Do I take, do I just take shots at it and run. Oh, 
Electric component. Parts of it were, were susceptible exactly to being knocked off. The gun turret. And that was it. And we have those things on its legs. I'm doing a lot of damage to that swarm thing though. components but it's just oh did it break it broke oh, 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 oh okay so now I need to focus on something else am I stuck in a wall am I am I stuck oh, crap 
But yeah, no, that's... Oh, god. Modification of the satchel full. Okay, let's see if we can craft anything. Oh, I can. Oops, uh... Okay. Perfect. Thanks, big guy. Holy buckets, that was tough. I mean, though, I feel like I, I hit... Maybe I just didn't hit them exactly enough, you know, with the terror arrows. But even without the terror arrows, I did a pretty good job. No room. Oh, my resources is fault. So I'm feeling that was a pretty good fight. I feel pretty good about that. I don't like how they make you get on the ground, but like <laughs> that was so funny and so terrible. I was just like, really? Really? I mean I guess I should have known better than to stand on a flimsy platform, but usually in games you don't have to worry too much about the environment degrading around you, but I 
Jeez. If I could just find a, a boar thing, that'd be great. Here, I guess I'll... See if that helps. No space. Helps a little bit. At least I'm all filled up now. That was intense. But we didn't die. Now let's find out the rest of the terrible secrets. And get on with our lives out of the, this tomb. We're basically in a giant tomb and I don't want to be here. You gonna show me any more sad messages? I don't know. Biosphere degradation. Uh, chief findings despite increased tactical proficiency of elite and civilian guard units and many hard won engagements in Central European and American Pacific reach theaters. The Feral Plague's rate of advance is not slowed, nor has its biomass consumption rate. Damage to the biosphere has already exceeded 2038 levels by every measure and grows worse by the day. Extinction timeline projections remain unchanged, with OAC predicted for mid November. 2065, annihilation of exposed human populations in 2066, extinction of macrobiotic land organisms, wow, and extinction of, wow, everything. Continued secrecy, Project Zero Dawn, the utter silence regarding its mechanisms of action and completion date, make it impossible to predict Zero Dawn's impact or lack of impact on extinction timeline. The atmosphere is collapsing, potable water shortages, military response escalation. Yeah, it's all just shit. Everything is literally falling apart, being eaten alive. It's not falling apart, it's literally being torn asunder. Like... Yeah, we go. Whoa! Thank you, Dr. Sobek. You can take a seat. What? You're going to sack her after what she just said? Dr. Sobek has made the situation very clear, General, and given us an option. We should all be thanking her. No, it's just... I mean, my God! Maybe take this discussion offline. There's not going to be any discussion. You saw the numbers. Now, Pharaoh, he'll foot the bill, but his money can't buy the time necessary to complete Zero Dawn. That... That can only be paid for in blood. Oh, come on. If we upgrade our fleet, crack the code somehow... Uh... Were you not listening? Robots can't do the fighting for you this time. When it comes to hacking, this rogue swarm is an apex predator. Anything automated you throw at it, they will hijack and take over. But this... We'd be throwing civilians into a meat grinder. Commanders, the enemy we're facing self-replicates faster than we can kill it. And it eats biomass as fuel. Zero Dawn is all we've got. So we put a railgun in the hand of every civilian strong enough to carry one, show them where the trigger is, and point them to the front? How the hell do we sell that? By giving them something to fight for. Zero Dawn. The top secret super weapons program that will save us. So long as humanity holds off the swarm long enough for Dr. Sobek and her team to finish it. The file I'm sending contains the war plan for Operation Enduring Victory. War plan? This is a war crime. Yeah, it is. It may be ugly, but it's something. Consider the alternative. Dr. Sobek. I've secured use of a decommissioned orbital launch base outside Bryce, Utah hey. as a zero dawn staging area. Plenty of space there. When can you get started? I've already mailed you a list of Alpha and Beta candidates. Most are foreign nationals or subjects of corporate holdings, so extracting them... Leave that to me. You'll get your dream team. Count on it. Then I'll be off.
So basically, what a launch base. What is that? What did these people do? They to what did Elizabeth do? To create time for this whatever Project Zero Dawn is, which I think is basically annihilation. Anyway, um, maybe it wasn't. But she, the only plan she could come up with was to throw everything they had. Civilians, military, everything. Basically hoping the body count would slow it down. Until she could finish what she had to do. Which is a really terrible, horrible thing. And it is. It's a war crime. But again, like, this is one of, I think this is one of the most abject situations I've seen of like, you know, you're a war hero or a war criminal where it's like, but it's at the same time, it's like one of the most, literally, we have literal annihilation, not just like, oh, maybe we'll have some of us, like a lot of people die. Literal annihilation of the entire planet. Everything. Or you throw basically everything into the meat grinder and hope, hope beyond hope. That something will be left at the end. This is a really terrible, terrible thing. This is a terrible thing. They knew there wasn't going to be any hope. Can't like, carry more. I don't know. Like, I don't know. They knew that what they were selling was kind of... I mean, I think they were hopeful that something good would turn out in the end. But they couldn't sell it as a, your bodies will basically give us more time. They had to sell it as some sort of hope. And god oh, dang. I don't know. It's Dr. Sobek. As projected, the Wichita salient has collapsed. Five Horus class titans have broken through. We predict contact in 34 hours. Everything is in position, General. It took a few shortcuts to pull everything together, but Zero Dawn is functionally complete. Good to go. That enduring victory served its purpose after all. Yes, if we'd had even one day less. I've sent you an encoded file, Doctor. Please do me the favor of archiving it. I'll... I'll see what I can do. What is it? A brief statement. An allocution of crimes, I guess you'd call it. To what are you admitting guilt? Over the past 16 months, Doctor. I have presided over the greatest wholesale slaughter of military personnel and civilians in the history of history. Genghis Khan, Hitler, Stalin, Sorabella, add them all together. They don't even come close. You didn't do the killing, General. Yeah, you did. No, not directly. But I didn't wind up the highest ranked military commander in the United he States. He pulled the trigger. By resisting the automation of the armed forces. Even before the swarm, Doctor, I was helping death along. So, instead of letting what I've done sink into the murk, forgotten, I set a file with all the details. Let posterity judge my actions with clear vision. I'll do as you ask, General. But you should consider that were it not for your actions, our actions, there wouldn't be any posterity to judge us. To Sobek. At ease, General. And goodbye. Hell of a thing. This is really just. My heart is hurting. Like, oh wow, oh this him. He's right here. He he died at his com maybe maybe. He did he die at his command? He's the only body in here, I think. At least you know recognizable. Because they were coming, and so he decided to help. He decided to take the final stand here, maybe? Wow. Like, he really was. Like, he put billions of people to their death. Billions upon billions of people to death. But this is literally... I, I cannot think of anything... Like, usually it's it's more of a philosophical question. Like, you know, like, millions will die. Or even, like, a billion. But you'll save, like, you know, nine trillion people or something. You know, like, what would you do? To, like in Mass Effect 3, right? Sometimes they had to sacrifice entire planets to try to build into, uh, an entire planet to save three more planets. You know? And it's like, it's the numbers game, right? But in this, 
and which is not it's not a game or anything right like it's literally you have to look at it that way sometimes but like it, it's I mean, you could say those million people, or the, the entire planet was maybe worth more than three planets worth of people because of why? Who gets to decide the worth of a planet, you know? Like, of a people on a planet, you know? I don't know. It's stuff like that. Usually it's stuff like that, right? Where you can argue back and forth. This is literally total annihilation of everybody within a year. Not even like Mass Effect, where it takes like a hundred years for the Reapers to kill everybody. No. It's just total annihilation of every... The Reapers left some things alive, too, right? They didn't destroy... They didn't always destroy entire planets. They always... There was supposed to be a cycle, right? Which is not really any consolation when you're the ones being massacred. But, like, at least they weren't, like... It was a total wholesale galactic, you know, extinction. This is... This is planet's planet-wide extinction. The entire planet will be destroyed. Or you can just destroy most of it slowly and hope something will be left at the end like i i cannot blame him like in dragon age inquisition there's um a, a thing where it's like one uh, uh one of uh, the mayor of this town he chooses to kill off a bunch of infected people with the boar infected with the blight he lets them drown he drowns them personally like with like a he, he lets the dam break or something and and drowns them in order to save the rest of his town, right? But you could say, you can argue that one fiercely. Like, you know, like, you didn't have to do that. You didn't have to kill those people. You could have left them alone. There were there were people who weren't sick down there that you killed by doing that. You know, villagers who wanted to attend to their families who had been sick. You know, you could have just left them. You could have just left them alone. You could have offered them their help until the very end and hoped at something else that, that, that they weren't sick with the blight or that they get better. Or, or something would happen, you know, instead of doing what you did. In this scenario, you literally cannot say, Oh, we should have all just died instead. Everything should have been wholesale slaughter instead. Like, you can't argue. You can, you can argue that it's immoral at what he did and it was evil. Yeah, sure, you can argue that. You can't argue that it was the wrong decision, which just sounds so wrong. It sounds so wrong. To put billions of people in harm's way, or to, to kill them, to kill billions of people just to save maybe one billion. Yeah, girl, I feel you. Glad to be rid of that. Yeah, same. That was a tomb. The orbital launch base they talked. That was a tomb. I checked my data and located the base. That's the good news. Shut up! I don't want to talk to you anymore. And the bad? It's directly underneath the citadel, the palace at Sunfall. <sighs> the capital of the Shadow Carja. Not exactly convenient. The palace is crawling with Eclipse agents. Many in positions of authority, all of them wearing focuses. The moment they see you, Hades will too. He'll issue another kill order, and this time, the entire Shadow Carja military will be after you. So, disable their focuses. You've done it before. It's not that simple. Too many focuses in one place. Each of them communicating with each other and back to Hades. A whole network of them. Network? What's that? Uh, imagine a vast, invisible web stretched across the land from end to end, connecting focuses together, allowing them to communicate over vast distances instantaneously. All right, so is there some way to cut the web down? Good question. Hmm. Crash the network. Audacious. Audacious. Yes, there is a way. A weak point in the network. Point the way. <laughs> I'll send the location data to your focus. Head there, and I'll be in touch when you're close with more directions. What was Zero Dawn? What sort of super weapon did Elizabeth make? I don't think it was a she super weapon. Machines, not before the world she knew her civilization ended. Yeah, it Let's all. Hope it won't come to that again. It it all went bye bye. It was literally there was no there was no fighting for the world as it was. Like it was literally going to be. It was just. It was just fighting for for a maybe, for 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 a sliver of a chance that maybe something would survive. How do I get down? Now, how am I gonna get down from here? Yeah, you asked the same. Where you go? At least you're good for one thing, metal devil. What's that? Is that natural coloration? Oh, it's just rust. Okay. 
Ooh, oh, look at me go. Oh, wow. She's brave. She's got really strong arms. I want to be like Aloy. I'd do that again if it weren't so much work to get back up there. <laughs> awesome. All right. Screw the main quest for a while. Screw that. Holy, I am literally just going. Could you imagine doing like a playthrough of this where you force yourself to walk everywhere or like ride everywhere to never fast travel? Like, oh my gosh. You know what? You know what? We're close. Let's go grab this Banook figure. You know, while we're here. You know what? Really quick. We're just gonna go. We're just gonna go grab a Banook figure. If, if I can. Um. Let's go down to here, I guess. Unlike those poor sobs who are not are doing those walkthroughs themselves. Or it's like usually it's a personal thing and there I think I have one playthrough in Skyrim that I did that actually. And I think I've talked to a couple people who've done the same thing. We're like I don't know. Big open world games like this, sometimes you feel like you just wanna experience them as a large open world that you're not traveling, or that you are traveling through, not just like flying through, you know, and not seeing. So, I heartily get behind that idea, just not right now. I do feel kind of bad though, just like fast traveling everywhere, but also for the sake of YouTube's sake, for your guys' sake, I cannot, in good conscience. Um, is this way better? Oh, that's the other thing. I cannot, in good conscience, make you sit through that. Um,. So there's a trail around here. I need to get out of the snow. I need to go find a happy place. I need to find a boar. Oh, you guys. Oh, that's right. I remember going past them. It's okay. I've killed t I can kill two destroyers, but I can't kill flint hawks without having a freaking conniption. Is this gonna be a shortcut or no? Yes? These rocks are bloody underneath here. This makes sense if it's in like the west. There's gonna be red rocks. Gonna go back to my old stomping grounds near Bryce. Well, I mean, they're kind of current stomping grounds. Just depends on where I'm working, <laughs> I guess. I've never been to Bryce Canyon National Park. I highly recommend it. It's one of my favorites. That and Zion. Very good, very good. Very, very good. I just saw something really colorful. The Banook. Are you gonna be. Ooh, yes, thank you. Oh, hello! Are you sad about your friend? I think that's what's going on. Um. Ooh, nice. We kind of ran across that while well, lickety split. Hmm. Is there a better way up here? Or is it just a climb as you can type thing? Um. Easy, easy. Ah! I missed it. Okay. I didn't see that part. Okay. Right? I saw... I swear I saw stuff I could climb on here. No? There we go. Are these like pointing the way? Come, oh, come on. Really? Oh, gosh. I feel like I shouldn't be taking the figure that's closest to the Banook, but. Like it's theirs. They 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 don't maybe know it's there already. Man, 
man, I wish I could be in this good a shape. <laughs> Look at how tall that thing is. Jump. Do it. I was like, I hope you don't expect me to do something with that. <laughs> I hope you're fully capable of doing that by yourself. Okay, we're getting there. It's a beautiful artwork. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright, now what? It's heavy. Well, it's going white. Oh! This is just a general thing. Punishment. Yay! Wooden artifact that's an offering under a tribal mark, along with a strip of parchment bearing handwritten glyphs, says that such artifacts can be traded in Meridian for valuable rewards. Okay. So... So he painted this. That guy. He painted it. He painted these symbols. Okay. Not the Vanuk that are currently here. I feel like the... <laughs> would have noticed though, you know? <laughs> she is so strong. I love playing Aloy. She's so buff. Okay. Oh, we have three? Oh man. Um what did I want? I think I got what I I got the tinker. What else do I want? Uh, craft additional ammo. What's the capacity of the medicine pouch? Wait. Calls a new overridden mount if no mount is available. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Heavy spirit tags. Okay. I might do this. Increases the maximum duration. Faster reload. That would be nice, too. I do use the bow and arrow a lot. Further reduces your visibility while you're crouching, though. Using... I'm not on these things enough to really be concerned, so... These... These, these were nice, though. The strong strike stuff. I think I'll do the increased concentration. Kind of go in the... I think I have the most in the brave route now. Nice! Okay. Oh wait, I was gonna pick a quest really quick. Um... <gasps> we could do the ancient armory. Let's do the ancient armory next. And it's closest! Awesome! Alright, we'll do the ancient armory next. Maybe do a cauldron after that. I don't know. We're gonna do some light, harder things, because that was that was actually really tough. Like it's really, really like we. I don't know. You get too far. Like it's, it's too too much empathy in a situation like that, you know. And it's detrimental. And it's not not bad. It's it's good game development. But it's like it really weighs on your heart as a person to realize like these these. If this was real, right? Like you you realize that you think about it as a real thing, where it's like. If this was like somebody I loved, or or just a person that I heard a message from, at some random point in time, like you could you could almost see them and like the hope and the loss of hope and it's just really difficult. And they wrote it to be very very real, very very real. And I it, that that was it was really well done, really well done on um, the Horizon Zero Dawn developers' parts. So. Kudos to them for making me sad. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying as much as I am. And uh, I will see you in the next one.